Good morning, everybody. I feel like doo doo this morning. Ugh, so, excuse me if I have to take some more pauses because I can hardly breathe. But I figured that oxalotls, there's a couple cool things about them, and I haven't really talked about them much. And I would like to today when I saw this, and I'm like, oh, this is a good time to do it. Oxalotl. The adorable amphibian that can regrow its body and stay looking young forever. Forever might be a little hyperbolic, but we'll see. The Mexican salamander is only found in two lakes and is considered critically endangered, with pollution and invasive predators driving the species decline. In the wild, it's endangered. Luckily, they are in the pet trade, so chances of them actually going extinct, at least in captivity, it's kind of why it's a good idea to have animals like this in captivity. Because in the wild, you know, these guys are sensitive. They're amphibians. Anything happens in the water, it kills them. Well, the name, the Mexican salamander, also known as Oxalotl, where it lives. Lake Zoshimilco and Lake Chalco near Mexico City. What it eats, a variety of in small invertebrates along with some small fish why it's awesome despite its rarity the oxalotl's incredibly cute uh looks make it one of the world's most famous amphibians inspiring characters in pokemon and animal crossing making an appearance in minecraft and even featuring a google doodle what's that i don't know what a google doodle is with a happy little face and frilly gills uh it's like the amphibian version of a puppy uh, this cuteness is caused by literally not growing up properly. Most sand salamanders undergo metamorphosis uh, from their totally aquatic larval form to their most terrestrial adult forms. However, the oxalotl is one of the, of the salamander species that doesn't. Instead, it retains all of its larval features, external gills, and, fill, uh, and fin uh, along its back, and remains completely aquatic, but is able to reproduce this is called pedomorphosis or neoteny yeah so basically there's a couple of reasons that i'm sure they'll talk about it a little bit more but basically you can get it to turn into its adult form by giving it the i believe it's the liver or the pancreas of a mammal i believe that's what it is because of there's some weird thing about the hormones that are in that that literally cause it to become an adult and live on land. Um, it's like a shut off gene, but when you give it the certain, um, you know, when you give it these certain hormones, it tr triggers the uh, sl sleep gene. It's just like I think I, <laughs> dude, I think I covered not too long ago about the chickens. And like their foot scales and then like they changed one gene and they became feathers it's a lot like that it can also regenerate almost any part of its body including its limbs eyes and even parts of its brain which makes it a great interest to scientists studying regenerative biology the oxalotl is so beloved it is the national amphibian of mexico and appeared uh on a 50 pesos bill released in 2021 what's this 50 pesos To the US dollar. I want to know. 50 pesos. US dollar. Let's see. thousand pesos. I need dollars. Dollar. Did you get that from We're the Millers? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 50 pesos is two ninety nine. So they have a $3 bill, basically. Interesting. Uh, however, with just 50 to 1,000 remaining in the wild and a decreasing population, uh, it is considered critically endangered on the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Union, wait, International Union for Conservation of Nature. Red list. Uh, limited to just a couple of lakes in southern Mexico City. It faces habitat loss uh, due to the introduction of invasive predators and pollution. 
uh, raising the profile of species goes some way to helping conserve the species. But work has also been undertaken to improve the water quality where it lives and encouraging traditional farming uh, that creates habitats for the species. Oh, that's it. Oh, so they didn't really get into... Well, that kind of sucks. We're going to go a little farther. Let's see. Axolotl regenerative. Let me try that. Okay, here we go. This seems to be one. December of 2017. So, the fundamental goal of regenerative medicine is to be able to regenerate complex tissues of the human body that have been damaged by trauma or chronic disease. Uh, how amazing it would be if a human could regenerate uh, cardiomyocytes in the heart that have died because of a heart attack or replace neurons that have died after a stroke. The discovery of stem cells in many tissues in the body provide great hope for regenerative medicine because it became possible to isolate them, increase their numbers in the culture dish, and then graft them back to the site of damage. The hope that uh, they would engraft and differentiate into damaged tissues and thus repair the damage. However, this strategy has had very little success because Turns out that the number of cells that successfully engraft is vanishingly low. Another uh, contemporary approach to regenerative medicine is to create biological scaffolds. Okay, I don't really care about that, to be quite honest at the moment. But the regenerative limb uh, has been a subject of fascination since 1769 when the first treatise was published on limbs and tail regeneration by Spallanzani. Today, we are still trying to figure out how this remarkable process occurs. We know that after amputation of the leg, the epidural uh, dermal cells rapidly migrate over to cut uh, surface to heal the wound and then pile up to form a structure called an apical cap, which becomes a signaling center. The mesodermal cells of the tissue, which have been cut through amputation, undergo a process known by as dead differentiation whereas uh they lose their dif differentiated genetic program the synthesis of actin in my okay big words i don't know what these big words so basically uh, oxalotl is able to regrow all of its that didn't help me too much Anyway, they can regrow their legs and stuff like that. And we're trying to use that uh, to figure out how to do it for ourselves. But yeah, oh, and then to get an oxalotl to transform oxalotl adult form. All right. Why is it bad? I've heard about this. It's not supposed to be a good thing if you transformed an oxalotl. Like people will get ticked off at you. <laughs> Jesus. And of course, my internet is all in alone. There we go. Uh, why is oxal? Uh, why is it so uncommon? Unlike other types of salamanders, oxalotls actually do not need to go through metamorphosis to complete their life cycle. Oxalotls inhabit a trait called neonet. Neonotomy, meaning that unlike other salamanders, they reach sexual maturity while they're still in their larval form. In fact, for oxalis, going through metamorphosis is often a death sentence. After becoming a land dweller, the oxalis is often left weak and tends to reject food. Most die within a year or two of metamorphosis. The way that oxalis go uh, got to be this way is actually quite fascinating. The failure of oxalis metamorphosis to occur is actually caused by a lack of iodine and their natural environment. Usually when salamanders uh, transition from their aquatic larval stage to their adult land dwelling form, they use iodine to produce the thyroid hormones that fuel their transformation. Lack crucial iodine, oxalotls evolve to make the last step of their life cycle unnecessary for reproduction. As a result, short of a genetic quirk or introduced metamorphosis, they will live their entire lives happily underwater. Over the course of long studies, 
Uh, scientists have found that oxalomorphosis can be introduced with an iodine injection. This gives oxalotls the required amount of iodine to begin introduction of thyroxine, which feels metamorphosis. Uh, this should never be attempted at home as iodine is extremely toxic and you will most certainly kill your oxalotl. That's because the fact that you'd be doing them to a short and unhappy life, even if they survive the transformation. Interesting. I wonder what, what do they look like? Metamorphosized. That's probably spelled wrong. Axolotl. Let me see what this baby looks like. Oh. I mean, it just looks like a normal salivator. But that just, it looks wrong. Look at that, dude. It looks wrong. It, it looks like a tiger salamander without any of the stripes. It just looks like a, it's just chunky and kind of gross. I mean, just keep them as babies, please. Look at this. I'm sorry. What is that? Poor dude. Keep them babies because that's torture. That's torture right there. Anyways, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I got a really cool video coming out at the end of the day. You guys are going to love it. Seriously. The oven. And the bell notifications on because when this comes out you're not going to want to miss it and i'll see you later keep it wild